Hi, my name is Takitha and this is my success story. We're going to start off on the journey of being pregnant. I was scheduled to go in for an induction. The day that I went in, the doctor stated that I was positive for COVID. Um, I was in the hospital for about three days until I had the baby and I had to have an emergency C-section based on the baby head is being too high and we had to go ahead and get him out so he wouldn't be in distress so that I wouldn't be in distress. Um, during the C-section, the COVID was exposed to my lungs and heart and my bloodstream. Um, we left the hospital on a Saturday. Three days later, I was feeling very, very ill. Um, I couldn't eat. I had a fever. I had chills. I couldn't breathe and I kept coughing up this pink mucus. Um, later on that evening, my husband was like, baby, you need to go to the hospital. Of course, everybody was scared of COVID and I'm very nervous about COVID. I was gonna get the vaccine once I had the baby, not knowing I was COVID positive when I went in. So I go to the hospital and the doctor stated I had to stay two days because I was very, very sick, risking a heart attack. I was so nervous. I tell, told my husband, I said, babe, I don't like the news they're telling me. I just want to go home. And I had a bad, bad feeling about the whole situation. So I prayed and I laid down and it's like somebody just turned the lights off. Honestly, I was in a deep, deep, deep sleep. It's like I was playing with the angels. To make a long story short, I ended up being on a ventilator for a week. And these are stories that my husband and other people told me after I came to. I was transferred from the emergency hospital by helicopter to a different facility who had the medical equipment ECMO to keep me alive. The attending physician who was seeing after me had stated that I had passed twice, cold blue, twice on him. And he told me I was a very strong woman when he finally seen me in the bed because of me dying, but I actually passed with the treatment they provided me with. I remember waking up in a ECMO bed. I was strapped up. I couldn't move. I had oxygen, tracheostomy, a feeding tube, and um, everything was just paralyzed. I, was been lay I had been laying up for about like at least a month, so I couldn't move anything. Lost a lot of weight, lost all the pregnancy weight and body mass, and so I had to learn how to walk again, I had to learn how to talk again. I was nervous, I would ask my husband when I finally was able to get up and um, just look and be comprehensive of my surrounding areas. Like, baby, am I gonna be able to sink again? And he's like, baby, you'll do it, it'll be fine. And I was wondering like, if I was gonna ever be able to drive. All these questions were going through my head as I was coming back to my normal self. Um, I transferred to Mesquite specialty hospital upstairs and i was so nervous because my husband took care of everything with the help of my job they was the one who was able to help me get on the ecmo list because there's a list you have to be on so i just thank my husband and my job my pharmacist supervisor all of them watching out for me so i've done some great in life for people to watch out for me after i've passed and came back to um, Ski Specialty Hospital, I was so nervous because this one particular time I was transferred through um, an ambulance or a flight service and my husband wasn't here. But upstairs, they call it ICU. I was so nervous behind the letters ICU. I'm like, I don't want to be here. I want to be in my own room. But it's basically kind of like a step down from ICU. We have one. I had one tech who actually she watched out to me when I was so nervous and I was just angry and upset. Like, why am I here? Well, y'all are taking too long, wiping me and I can't lay down because I had the trach and I was on oxygen. So it was causing coughing fits. I was nervous because I didn't want to catch a fever with the covers being off of me. So I was going through a lot of emotions being transferred from different facilities, but I was recuperating at the same time. So um, her name is Cece and I just she just clung to me. I was so nervous. I me to her and she was like, it's OK, just tell us what you want and we'll take care of you. So I give her great, great, great pops. And my mom thanked her and everything. But she took very, very good care of me. And I was transferred from being able to um, stand up on my own and like go to the bathroom with supervision. I was transferred downstairs to um, MRI. 
and I was able to get up on my own and I'll just tell the nurses like, hey, I'm going to the bathroom, even though they still have to supervise me, like I'm going to the bathroom. It took a while for me to um, just mentally prepare myself to walk and talk, but with the help of the staff, they made it easy and fun and not as depressing as the situation looked because a lot of people were like, wow, you came a long way. Now, let's not forget my baby boy. I was very, very, very determined to get back to my normal state of life and get back to my husband and get back to my son, who's now two months old. I just want to say thank you to Mesquite Specialty Hospital. I also want to say thank you to Mesquite Rehabilitation Institute. All of the work has been such a success, and I just want to give great um, appreciation and gratitude from me to Keitha and my family. Thank you.